afternoon. I'm Zach Shuttler, superintendent of Bridgeport Schools. Currently, we are standing on the site of the future Raymond Stewart Exercise Science Center. To give you a little background on Mr. Stewart, he was a 1954 graduate of Bridgeport High School. He was actually the valedictorian of his class. After he left Bridgeport, he went on to become a successful patent attorney in Washington, D.C. He had a lifelong love for science, and when he passed away, he wanted to give back to help instill that love of science into future students. We decided as a district, one of the best uses of those funds was to establish an exercise science center that will be in this location that will put students on a career pathway in fields such as exercise physiology, uh, medicine, nursing. And we are very excited about this program because it just won't benefit students that are in the district right now. Our hope is that it will benefit students for generations to come and that they will know that Mr. Stewart's memory and his love of science will live on. Hello, I'm Tom Daly, principal of Bridgeport High School. Behind me you can see our artist rendering of what our future exercise science facility is going to look like. I'd like to share with you a little bit of information about some of the program offerings. This is going to be a very unique program offering that, I, that we do not believe that other schools in the area have the ability to offer their students. This will be a CTE program which will be partially funded through career tech funding. Some of the possible careers that might be available to students who complete this program would include physical therapy, occupational therapy, athletic training, exercise physiology, nursing, and a wide array of pre-med programs. In their freshman year, students will be taking health science and technology. In this particular course, students will be exposed to a wide range of careers in which the skill sets that they gain will be applicable. In their sophomore year, students will be taking two courses, the first of which, which will be nutrition and wellness. In that particular course, students will learn about nutrition and its benefits to their overall well-being. The second course will be medical terminology. Medical terminology will be very applicable for any particular career fields that our students choose. As mentioned earlier, those would include many fields in science, as well as in healthcare industries. In their junior year, students will take an additional two courses in the career pathway. The first of which is exercise and athletic training. Here, students will be exposed to the workings of the human body from an exercise standpoint and how to prepare and prevent injuries. The second course in their junior year is human anatomy and physiology. This course is another course that will be very beneficial to students who are planning on career fields in the sciences and healthcare industry. Students are going to focus on the structures of the human body and the functions which they perform. Finally, in their senior year, students will conclude their program of study with two courses. The first of which will be fitness, evaluation, and assessment. Students will focus on, in a scientific manner, gathering data and analyzing that data. Their final course in their career pathway will be athletic injury and prevention. This is a course that will benefit the students in their long-term life because it will focus on their functional fitness, which will benefit them for many years to come. Our classroom setup will give students a number of hands-on lab experiences. The education will be project and inquiry based. Students will have an extensive amount of biometric technology at their disposal in order to analyze data. This program will prepare students to enter a number of science and health related fields and it will equip them with the knowledge to live a healthy lifestyle. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to learn more about the future Exercise Science Center. One thing that I would like to point out is currently where I am standing one year from now, our students are going to be performing inquiry-based lab experiments where they learn about biometrics and advanced anatomy. Our goal is for our students, when they exit Bridgeport High School, that they are prepared to enter into fields such as medicine and exercise physiology. I want to again thank Mr. Stewart for his generosity. Our goal is to make sure his legacy and his passion for science lives on in current and future Bridgeport students.